Hello and welcome to Iskaria.com. My name is Dr. Heather Ali. With Iskaria.com, you can enjoy thousands of lecture anywhere and anytime. Today, I'm going to talk about the second part of genital urinary emergencies. Let's go to the timeline. We'll start off with the scrotal pain. We'll talk about what are the causes of scrotal pain and what are the features of scrotal pain. How would a patient present to you with scrotal pain? We'll look into details of the most common causes of scrotal pain. We'll talk about some of the details of viral orchitis, especially mumps. We'll talk about urolithiasis, incarcerated hernias. We'll talk about the torsion of the testicles and we'll talk about the torsion of the appendages. Then we'll uh, touch and go the painless scrotal uh, mass lesion and we'll emphasize on the tumor that's, uh, that's especially occurring in young males uh, leading to uh, painless scrotal mass. We'll talk about uh, some of the facts about the varicocele. We'll talk about some of the facts about the hydrocele and also we'll touch about uh, something about spermatocele as well. Moving on to orchitis, we'll talk about what are the causes of orchitis, what are the sequelae of, uh, that might lead to orchitis, especially epididym orchitis. Uh, we'll talk about mumps orchitis, we'll talk about mycobacterial orchitis, and also we'll talk about the bacterial orchitis as well. We'll go into the details of the treatment plans that we can have and what other options we can have to prevent the patient from orchitis. Priapism, we'll talk about in detail about the priapism. The limited uh, treatment plans we have for priapism would be discussed. Uh, we'll talk about what are the causes, uh, especially the recreational drugs. We'll put an emphasis on recreational drugs uh, about uh, what that might cause priapism. Fourniers gangrene, a life-threatening necrotizing fasciitis with increased mortality rate will be discussed in detail. What are the causative agents? What are, what are the treatment options do we have? And what urgently uh, is needed in patients with Fourniers gangrene? We'll uh, talk about in detail about the dysuria, the different diseases that causes dysuria and what the signs and symptoms of dysuria will be taught in detail. Then we'll talk in detail about atraumatic hematuria with the classifications, which includes macroscopic and microscopic hematuria. Then we'll talk about the diseases which causes uh, atraumatic hematuria, which includes urolithiasis, glomerular nephritis, um, renal tubal uh, necrosis as well. Urolithiasis will be taught in detail because of the, its importance in emergency while you're working in emergency department. With Iscaria.com, you can enjoy thousands of lectures anywhere and any, anytime. This includes basic sciences and clinical sciences. Start your field trial today. Thank you for watching Iscaria.com.